So I'm at this place called High Fidelity. I think the mic starts in 15 or maybe the sign up's in 15. There's just a few cars. Uh, possibility of a second mic later tonight. I don't know. It's some comedy-ish club on the second floor. So we'll see what happens. Maybe this is a short one. I can get up there. I'll be rock and roll, but we'll see what happens. High Fidelity. Uh, sounds cool. And I guess there's trivia, so I don't know who's coming to this, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Opening cards, no coffee. Uh, high fidelity, Portland, Maine, Thursday night. But this an awe. It's exciting because it's like, oh, you're the host. Yeah. And yeah. The, you explain what this is tonight. This is cards. Oh, I'm sorry, comics against humanity. This is a different style of bar trivia and open mic comedy night for the people of Portland. And we get people into the bar. We offer them free drinks or a chance to win free drinks. Oh, for the trivia part? For the trivia part. Oh, right. cool. They stick around, they make a funny joke or a funny answer. You know, they get more points and uh, they get a chance to win a free beer. While they do that, uh, in between questions, we have comics co go up and perform for five minutes at a time. Nice. Yeah. So the audience are thinking of funny things while the comedians are hopefully saying funny things. Right. Usually, um, if they can't think of the answer, I just encourage them to make fun of us. In front of uh, me making them answer these questions, or uh, just say something racist, because we collect all, all the answers. Say something racist? Yeah. So like Legion of Skanks or something? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I was on a Skanks not too long ago. Oh yeah? For yeah. what were you on for? Uh, they pulled a, a member from the audience, and I had to do a. a you went down to New York? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm originally from New York. Oh wow! I've been on Skanks too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We're shaking hands because we both been on Skanks. I, I just saw them uh, Monday too. You were just down there. I was just down there. Yeah, I just got back today. Who was the wow? Yeah. Who was the guest? Uh, Ari Shafir yeah. and oh. Jared Freed. This is like the first place where I've seen like. I don't Freed Freed. Jared. He's on, the, he's on another uh, podcast. I didn't recognize him. From yeah, the I don't know. Ari's done the show. Oh, oh yeah, has he? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh my god, it was a classic episode. Wow. Yeah. Um. I've been South Pole Santa on that twice for the uh, Halloween episode. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. And I've given out a whole bunch of porn to everyone. <laughs> I got kicked out, but... Oh, one. my God. I know who you are. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's funny. Isn't that funny? Holy oh, shit. I remember... <laughs> I know exactly. Our first contestant, South Pole Santa. He has a, a giant bag of vintage porn. It stinks. The porn stinks. Okay. Stinky old really magazines. Bad. Oh, it does smell like... Oh wet. my god. It smells like basement. All right, South Pole Santa, stop. No, stop, no. I said stop. Come over here, you fucking psychopath. What the fuck is going on? He's giving out gifts to the studio audience. It's got to... It's too much. This guy's porn magazines have definitely been labeled Exhibit A before. All right, all right, slow down. Can I tell you what's wrong right now? So everyone, 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 stop flipping through your magazines. This is Lewis's nightmare. Lewis, play your guitar. Lewis, play your guitar. Lewis lost the room to periodicals. It's crazy. Everyone, stop looking at vintage pornography and listen to Lewis. He's taking over the whole thing. Santa took over. Are you from New York? No, I live in New Hampshire. Okay, so what were you doing down there? Down I go to New York. Once, okay. twice a month. Yeah, I was there like uh, that was this year, right? No, it was the it's last Halloween. Year. I it dress Halloween? up as Santa for Halloween. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you brought the porn mags. I brought brought them porn oh mags. They, this God. year was stinky. The that year before so they were not stinky. Now That's they're so down in the they're down in the big yeah. room now. I was on uh, for the Hanukkah episode. They pulled me out of the crowd to uh, play some uh, racist Hanukkah games. I had to bob for pennies, oh. and I won. Oh I wow! Won. I fucking won. I see. I I don't watch stuff. I listen, so I yeah. probably heard that right, episode, but I wouldn't recognize right. you because I can't. Well, my my uh, ears are good, but to be that good right. to recognize your voice from that one show would be right. insane. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, give me hands up any cards, no coffee, and we got a bunch of cards. So you just uh, pick one out. Uh, just pick one out. That's pick one out. All right. First of all, you have the uh, most incredible collection I've seen of vintage cards in quite a bit. So this is. Uh, I'm gonna go for Alien Life Form. Oh, Alf. 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 A lot of people have liked Alf. Really? Um, yeah, it's been a while though. It wasn't my. Oh my it's god, been this a gum while. is so fucking old. The gum. If the Alf. You know, gum. if I put pennies in my mouth on skanks, I might as well put some gum from 40 years ago in my mouth. Oh, probably seven, eight people have eaten the gum. Not maybe all at once. The pennies were better. Yeah. Holy shit. It depends what the pennies have been. If they were in heaven, they might be good. No, yeah, they were, they were, were throughout New York, so no. Yeah, that makes mm. sense. Oh my. Yeah. 
I'd spit it out, I mean, or drink or whatever. Because you don't want to, like, you don't eat it. But, I mean, you know. That's the same. I just ate it. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, not tip. responsible, once again, I will say, for the gum eating it, no. That's what happened on the skanks, too. They made sure I was not responsible for what I was going to do next. Yeah, yeah. What's his Makes name? Sense. Didn't someone just drink, um, uh, Jake or whatever, drank uh, Ari's kiss oh God, like yeah, a couple yeah. episodes ago? Producer, yeah, exactly. And then I saw him like the next week or two weeks after I was down. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, so what happens here? Do we have to read out the cards, or what happens when uh, usually when the other the comes in? I'm sorry. It's I all different. It's all different. No, right. you do whatever you want. I thought it was all right. I pulled an Alf baseball card. I didn't know he played, and uh, I didn't know what you know position he was. He's part of the Equinox Weenies. Okay. Seems like there's always one of these kind of cards in the Alf packs. If I'm not mistaken, it, and well, like here you can see that's that's a puzzle piece back. Right. This might have information more like the baseball. Oh, oh it's a sticker. Look at that. Oh yeah. My God, that's beautiful. There's been Look some good Alf stickers. That is going on my fridge. Yeah. Cards came out. Look at this. Oh, it's a sticker. Yeah. That's nice. I'm going to put that on the laptop right there. This That's is, like, you know, I don't yeah. even know if you usually saw him as a full figure, did you? What, no, I feel you know? like, he, like someone had to have his hand up yeah. his ass. So <laughs> yeah, I feel like, like that a, was a, a yeah, this is how you always saw him. He was just sort of lurking behind this couch. Um, I'm a little concerned because I can see the stain on some of these cards that the gum left. But that's from the gum. We'll be only on one card. I'm just concerned because I ate it, you know? That's just my problem. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. Problem. We'll People see, have eaten see what happens later. crazy stuff. You do a lot of singing and stuff, and you've got a podcast where you do a thing about all the albums. Josh Adam Myers also eating the gum. You're number four. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. I mean, it's from... <laughs> Why? Oh, Why do they do it? Why do they do it? It's like synthetic. Yeah, it's for Simeon, it just dissolved in his mouth. It disappeared. Mark chewed it for a while. Sorry. Sorry. No, but can he just get a quick smile or a picture with you? Of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I knew I had fans, but not these kind of fans. Yep. And he was a, he was a cracker. You gotta love this. Well, it was a, it was a stand-up comic who mm. voiced and wrote the character Alf. Who? I don't remember I don't know, his name because he only, I don't know that he did a whole bunch. It's not like, oh, it was Carlin. It was just a weird dude. But, you know. I like this. Don't I know you from another planet? I, I know he was from Melmac. That's about it. Right. Yeah, I only yeah. know Melmac. Josh know. Adam Myers, yeah. he opened this and um, he he was really young. In the first episode, I guess Alf calls back home because he's not going to go and Josh Adam Myers cried and cried and cried. I think he said it was the first time he cried. Oh, him bro crying? Oh, my yeah. God. Him bro himself. Uh, oh, that's right. That's from that. He does that. He does that. He well, does, he stopped. He I did that. Him and Justin Silver. I loved it. I yeah, loved yeah, yeah. it. I was a him bro. Loved it, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, does the album thing though. The yes, 500 yeah, albums or something like I that. Love that show, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't eat it, forget it. Uh, everything's sarcastic from this guy. He really did not right. take a break. Right. Every day. Yeah, just easy, easy, dumb jokes oh for the young God. kids, you know? This guy. Oh, I forgot the dad of the show. He's here He's here on this card, man. That guy. Uh. But where did his chin go? Really? Look at that. That he looks he looks like he can't breathe or swallow properly. It might be old Joe List. <laughs> Uh, is this a bow tie or am I being choked by a snake in formal wear? Damn it, I'm sounding like Alf now. Oh my god, it has a little, uh, uh, uh bio on him. Rock guitarist Nasty Shumway began his career in 1959 with the number one hit, I Love You More Than Moldy Cheese. Two years later, he abandoned his old solo. I oh, this is not even, I don't even, what the fuck? Melmac fact. Yeah. Melmac, some food groups can jump root. You know? Wow. That's uh, that's gonna make it to my trivia set tonight. No, maybe oh, not the Melmac fact? Uh, maybe not tonight. Maybe. I mean, you gotta, you gotta plan ahead, I think. Yeah. Just sign one for me, and then oh, you can keep God. the rest if you so desire. Okay. I mean, you already ate the gum, so I'm gonna you'll sign, probably... I'm going to sign this one Joe List. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's good. I like it. I like it. Joe List has also done the show. Very quickly. He picked Doodle Wonkers. The most bizarre... Uh, I don't know. No, no, if I have it. Dude... Dude de Yonkers. I have no idea what this is. It feels like one card. <laughs> I, got a, I got a lift waiting for me here. Mark ate the gum in the old freaking thing. Oh, wow. It was insane. That is insane. Yeah, I couldn't okay, believe it. Okay, here's under flanking. <laughs> you picked the weirdest one. Riot. If I lose my perfect I know, star I'm, rating, I'll, I'm going to shoot somebody. I'll, I'll pay you money, whatever it is. You got here's TV stickers. Sticker, TV I don't know. Stickers. You picked oh, them. oh some, you can make a puzzle. A face, some like tongue and eyeballs and a wow. thing. What was your name again? Carlo. Carlo. I can remember that. Thanks. Awesome, Carlo. Thanks so much. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Oh, yeah. Go see live comics. There's only three comics, and this is supposed to go till nine, so 
you know, it's probably like, a, I can probably go like five minutes and 22 seconds. Yeah, you're good. Uh, oh, nice. We're going to the idea of everybody. <laughs> This is, this is like the best sound system I've ever uh, been with in a yeah. size room. The dude's like playing with every knob to do like the normal song, not like, you know. I guess probably there's like guitars, it's probably like you guys, and you make beer, and this is like the dude place. This <laughs> chicks, uh, Hopefully, uh, are any of the artists here who did art on the wall? Uh, did, who, who did this stuff here? Okay, uh. It was a collective community event. I mean, it's like fireworks, you know, I, you like, how old are you? I'm sorry. Getting older, everyone like thinks getting older is stuck. Getting older is awesome. Like, like, I don't have to, like, like, I can ignore girls. <laughs> it's cool. I swear. I mean, girls rock. Don't get me wrong, but it's awesome to ignore them. When you're young, that don't happen. Uh, I mean, it was, you know, God, I, the rainbow color, too. I don't, like, I didn't want to, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, whatever. Teach. Um, <laughs> There's like pirates on the on the fucking uh, 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 what's that refrigerator? So I maybe shouldn't uh, you know maybe he's a pirate. Okay. I like the drawing. I, mean, I like the coats are cool. Oh, there's like steins. You guys can't see all the steins. There's like six. You could get like a like I want my beer in a stein tonight. That was loud. <laughs> Uh, good evening. <laughs> My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, everything. Embarrassingly, I'm still learning to read, so I'm going to be practicing tonight with this little notepad. My five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. It's like a long pause. Oh, I was gonna do magic fucking. Uh, who's that like Henning guy? He like, there was like a thing when I was little, he like, it was like a culmination of this whole stuff. He like, he made the, uh, uh, ch the chick with the book. I'll ask the trivia, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's David Copperfield, but Doug Henning was before him. Okay. Copperfield made the freaking uh, Statue of Liberty disappear, and he did it by slowly moving the, the audience was on like a really slow, like, turntable. There's a record player over there. <laughs> and, and then when they like, uh, he, and then he just like, uh, for a long time, and then they like reveal, because it's like 15 minutes later, and then like, oh my god! Because they just move the thing. I've been doing that also. So when you leave tonight, you'll be facing the water, which is not good. Made up you soul, I mean. Might be too meta for this young friend. I mean, made up you soul. I'm going to start with just any obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. This one's new, so uh, I haven't done this one before. I kind of did improv. This is so bad. I kind of did improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. Yeah, you can tell who. Who's been to college? This girl. Who hasn't? Everyone else. We're going to be painting later. Sure. <laughs> what? And so the guy who made you fucking an awesome meal and then like had served you beer, like passed out, like a uh, roofied. Uh, oh, I messed up because I was going to go into the, this. is awesome, you know. This is stupid. Yeah, Anderson. Like, 
I don't get what this is. Like if you saw that tattoo on my penis, you'd think it says fuck. Oh, I'm supposed to like pick some oh, shit my five minutes. Uh <laughs> you got four. Oh, yes. You don't have to take him seriously. No, you have four. I mean, I have four more minutes. You have still an idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but, uh, and then my mom. <laughs> so I have a tattoo on my <laughs> You think it says fuck, but you would know it says fire truck. <laughs> so, I found one of those I'll write your name on a grain of rice chicks at the mall. That's my mandatory I have a small penis joke. It's so small, I kind of want to identify as a woman. But just for the name change. I'm not gonna this. Please refer to me as Dick Tracy. <laughs> so bad. Thanks a lot. David Bacon, everybody! That's how you do it. I've been doing stand up comedy. If, yeah, how long have you been doing stand up comedy? Stand up comedy since October of 2023. 20, so that's like two years or something. Three, no, or one year. Like I don't know what months. year it is. I thought it was 25. It's like, it's like six months. Nice, good for you. It's comedians opening cards, no coffee, and we're at the, what's this called place? High uh, Fidelity. High Fidelity in Portland, Maine, and it's on a Thursday. And hey, what are you picking? Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Those have been picked. Uh, other packs, but the same. Beavis and Butt has been picked twice. Okay, I'm not, I'm not unique or special. No, no, no. But there's only so many options. I mean, I've, you know, I think I've done 58 episodes or so. There, uh, a few haven't. I'm a month ahead. So but. I'm okay to open this. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then you got to sign one. You can keep the others if you so desire. You just talk about whatever you want for as long as you want. Okay. Talk about. I don't know. What's your name? My name is Joel. Joel. Joel Reamer's ma. Joel Reamer's ma. Reamer's Ma, like you're Reamer's Ma. Yeah. You're, okay. Related to a Reamer. Like I'm Dutch. Oh, cool. Yeah. You ever done double Dutch? I have not. I cannot jump rope. Yeah. I'm, it's I'm very probably, impressive. I'm profoundly white and unathletic. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of athletic. Oh, you're saying you're white I'm and athletic, like not athletic. Both, People could be. I okay. Am both of those things. So, what cards did you get? I got give uh, blood. Okay. Give blood. We got scared straight. Do you give blood? I do not give blood. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know what my blood type is, admittedly. Don't like needles? Uh, I don't mind. Have needles. AIDS? I don't mind needles. I don't think I have AIDS. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, AIDS, oddly, blood. will draw your blood, though. You know, like, they're AIDS. They're nurse AIDS. AIDS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's odd. And, yeah. you know, if, if you have AIDS, you can't. Human immunodeficiency virus. Wait, you got that card? Operation Desert Sock. I did not. Oh, know. wow. I've seen that card before. I like. Sagalow, that was his favorite card. He Who's, thought that was funny. Brandon Sagalow. That, that is hilarious. Yeah. I don't know who Brandon Sagalow is. He's a comedian. He, uh... <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, this one's funny. Operation Desert Suck. <laughs> the show was funny. That and was another so one of you. you. Oh, oh, come on. This is Japanese uh, one, and then... Oh, they're bald punks, wow. Punks. That's so cool. Awesome, and how do you like the Portland comedy scene? So I live in Brunswick, which is 30 miles north of here. Uh, oh, okay. It's a very robust comedy, it's a relatively robust comedy scene. I think it's because it stems from a pretty robust drinking scene. Right, right, right. Uh, it's been, people have been really nice. Uh, people have been welcoming and open, and uh, there's some drama, but just, Everywhere there's people. Yeah. Especially maybe um, insecure folks like comics. Right, 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 sure. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Drama. So, uh, uh, and comedy. What is it? No, it's... Uh, dramedy. Yeah, what is the two things? It's drama and... Uh, is it... Com no, it's like tragedy and drama. Tragedy, tragedy and comedy? comedy? Yeah, yeah, So what's like drama the, then? The ancient, I don't know. The two together? Yeah, well, is that the middle? I think there's either one. I think they're dramas and probably both. Yeah, I don't know. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you do uh, your set tonight. Thank you very Thanks much. so much for doing it. Oh, you got to sign one. I forgot. You got to pick one, sign one, and then you can keep the others if you so desire. Are you guys comics? No, you're just... No. Okay. No, that's, that's great. Audience is more important. 
punks. Right, 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 right. Awesome. Oh, you signed the punks. That's so cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. And go see live comedy. <laughs> Oh, that was so awesome. Good. Thank Thanks, you so Dave. Much.